Well, welcome back to the channel and a new video. We are back on the little smarty car. We are. And we are, we got a bit of an open invitation quite a while ago from Reclamet. You guys will know we've been working, working on the cars and buying the bits from them for quite a while we now. Have, yes. And they seem to have pretty much all the stuff yeah. and it's nice and local. So Chris said, you know what? Ring them up, see if they've got the bits for this smarty car. I keep calling it a smarty car, smart car. <laughs> and they have actually got one in colour. Gary down here, the manager, the parts manager, sent me a picture of it. Chris said, Rob, let's go down there. Let's actually go down there. So we've rung them up. We're going to pop down there. They've already bought it, bought the car Here from... Here it is, Rob. You can see it. I don't know if you want to swing a camera around. <coughs> so this is a new place. We did yet. come here once before, but there was none of this rack in there, was there? No, it's all... Um, oh, I don't know if it's security, real. No, there's, no, it's not security. That's just a, a toilet hut now. Oh, right, OK. Because there's not a live airport here anymore, no. is there? So, yeah, they've pulled the car from their breakers yard over to here for us to go in and pick all of the parts off of. So I what? guess we'll just leave it there. We'll and find somewhere to park. And, um, I'll probably park in there behind yeah, that lorry. Yeah, doesn't look like it's moving. Go and get a, I can see the smart car in oh, there. Oh, look at that. He was true to his word. He's got it out ready. Right. Cut it there, Rob, and we're going to find someone, shall right. we? Oh, so mate. luckily for us, the guys are actually on a 15-minute tea break. <clears throat> Excuse me, and they've allowed us to come in and actually have a look. He's bought this car over for us and stuck it straight on the ramp so that all the bits we do want, they can get off for us straight away. That subframe's fine. That subframe's fine. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, wishbone's bent, but the subframe's fine. That's perfect. So that's a good start. Yeah. We need uh, loads of parts off this one, the rear beam, the wing mirror, lots and lots of other parts. We've got Lucy in the background and we've got a microphone on her, so if we need any help, She's going to help us out. But, yeah, Chris is going to go around, just check everything on here that we need is OK, and then the lads are actually going to strip it off for us, which is fantastic. We've jumped the queue and we can take it home. While Chris is having a look at that, I did notice this when we walked in. It has got, it has got a black leather interior, and we are kind of leaning towards, shall we have that and put that in our car as well, because it looks really, really nice. Beams good, mate. All looks the same? Yeah, those arms are the same, all undamaged under there, so we'll have all of that back beam. We'll have all of that. So it looks like they've pretty much got everything we need, including that screen inside and the rear view mirror. Yeah, well, should we have them? Stalks. Stalks, yeah. Should we have them seats, Chris? We got her. We got her have them, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, if you move that bonnet, that yeah, just see if there's any damage on them. It's just going to make a big difference. Yeah, they look lovely, Chris, they do. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with them as well, definitely. Right, we are going to actually now give the, give the guys a list. And yes. Lucy said that we can walk around and have a look at all the parts on the right. shelves. And so stuff, you're so. going to follow yeah. and film yeah, us? Yeah, I'll follow you, yeah. We'll cut there and just give them the list and then we'll go in. Yeah, good wow. idea. That is a lot of parts, Lucy. I know, you've got a lot of stock here. I didn't realise it was on this scale. I know, our warehouse is huge. So how many cars a week are you processing to generate this amount of parts? Probably around like 250 cars a week to be fair. Really? Yeah, it's quite a lot. Blimey. Yeah. So that's going to take a fair old bit of manpower, I would think, Rob. Yeah. How many, how many, um, how many people you got working for you? Around 88, I'd say. 88 to 90 people working for us. Blimey. Yeah, we've got a fair few people on it. Are you getting all this? Yeah. <laughs> look, look. I've got a shout. Of course, no. Look at that lot. Wow. I didn't realise it was as big as this. I know, it's insane, isn't it? No wonder when we ring up, they've always got the parts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always rely on us. Yes, definitely. Now, did I hear Gary mention he might do a discount code for our viewers? A discount code, yeah. He's, he's yeah. When, you, when anyone rings up, just say, I've seen you on sale with Rebuilds, and they'll automatically get a nice little discount. Um, oh. So what's the 
process for anyone contacting you? What's the best way? There's multiple ways that you can get hold of us, really. Right. We've got we've got our own website that you can have a little look through. Yep. You can ring us, you can email us. There's plenty of ways you can get hold of us, to be and fair. A big eBay shop. And a massive eBay. Our e we're top seller on eBay. We are, eBay is insane. Right. Uh, eBay is one of our best selling points, yeah. Right. I'll put the links for all of those in the yeah. description yeah, down for below. Sure. Did you already ask how many parts are here? I didn't. No. How many parts roughly? Like roughly, I mean, I mean, well, you can see it yourself. Like Thousands. twenty-five thousand parts. Wow, it's insane. It is. It's endless. Anywhere you look, there's bits and bobs that are just flying off the shelf. Honestly. I, I see yeah. that everything's got its own label. Is that so? You just scan it and then put it on that shelf. Yeah. Like, yeah. And yeah. Then. And then so when someone rings me in the office, I literally pull up the SKU and it'll bring me the location. So then one of these lads can just pick it. And it'll either be, you can have it straight away or it'll be sent to you. Pick it, pack it, and Yeah, literally, the door. pick it, pack it out the door. And you will delivery. post anything, yeah, will you? Yeah, we'll engines. post pretty much, yeah. Engines, anything of any size, we pretty much will send to your front door, yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, good. I'm just going to have a little... Yeah, little we, little we little ought to. Yeah. <clears throat> Very and this is just one building. Yeah. There's yeah. other buildings racked out the same. Very impressive. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. impressive. I'm trying to think what else we need parts for while we're here. Look how neat and tidy everything is. Yeah, I guess you've got to be. Yeah, they you? spend yeah. a lot of time making sure that everything is kept as in pristine condition as they can. There's, there's not one packet, label or cable tie on the floor anywhere. I love how yeah. clean and tidy it all is. And I guess, yeah, you're right. It's got to be kept like that, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm just trying to think, Rob, while we're here, what else we need parts for at the moment? The little, so, the little van, I think. We've got, yeah. Yeah, we do, don't we? I think we should have a look, see what they got. Look at all the wheels and tyres and stuff they got. <coughs> all boot lids, everything's on the, on the shelf. Look at the doors and the bumpers. It's Come crazy, off. isn't it? Is that it the is. little picker? What they... Yeah, so if, if I want something from the top shelf for a customer, I can I can give them a ring, give them a message, and within 10 minutes that'll be with me in my office. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, they're, they're fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing us around. Yeah, you're very welcome. Really appreciate it. Thank it's you. a nice little insight yeah, to things definitely. people don't always see. And obviously, yeah. this is not normally open to the no, public. No, no, our warehouse isn't <clears throat> no. open to the public. This is yeah. completely staff only. Yeah, but yeah, so. it's definitely good to get some intel of where your bits come from. Well, yeah. thanks for letting us in. Really yes, appreciate thank you. it. No, you're very welcome. It's a pleasure. You. Thank you. So, of course, crazy, we wasn't expecting to buy that leather interior. So, we went down in the disco. We bought that back and we decided, do you know what, we're not going to put the engine bed and the rear subframe in the back of the nice clean disco. So I'm going to whip back down and get those in the van now. And I'm going to leave you with Chris and he is going to fit that wing mirror, the new screen, because we've got the broken screen, the wiper stalk, the rear view mirror, there's lots to get on with. And if I'm extra long, he might even get them seats in there. One of them wing mirrors that fits on the door. I like it, but he's still called a wing mirror. <laughs> See you in a bit. So straight in there, it is just some little torques holding the back seats down, two in each side of those back seats, and then two in the front and two in the back of the front seats. Quite straightforward to get them out, and Chris managed to pull them straight through the back doors. I actually thought we was gonna have to take the back ones out first and bring them out through the boot, but he managed to get them through that little gap there, and I think that's the seats all out. Hopefully that camera can see from here. Um, so that's the seats removed. And as you can see, the carpet is in a bit of a sorry state. A lot of dog hair. And even though I am still bunged up with this cold that I am struggling to shake off, it does smell a bit unpleasant. So I'm hoping once I've gone over it, um, get a lot of this picked up, it, it's gonna smell a bit better. But let's give it a go and see how it comes out. Hopefully it's going to be all right. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to send Rob back down to Reclamet to get a carpet. But fingers crossed it's going to be all right. So poor Chris, I really, really genuinely did get off lightly here from cleaning out this car. It's got a bit of a pong to it. And as you can see, he's trying everything there to get up that dog air and get everything removed. I think in this next little clip, he goes to an extreme to actually remove all of the dirt and debris out of that carpet. I'm not 
sure how well this is going to work, but it's one of those carpets where the, the vacuum struggles to pick up all the very fine stuff. So I've got the air chisel with a rubber cap on it. I'm just going to give it a go. It will be quite noisy with the vacuum going, but hopefully you'll see all the stuff that's in the, all the fine stuff that's in the carpet will, um, will sort of jump out. It's going to be quite noisy, so I won't do it for long, and I am going to have the vacuum going as well, I think. Gives, uh, gives everybody an idea what I'm doing. Even though I've just sat on the Thanet Way for two hours because a tree come down in the road and there was nothing we could do, we had to sit in traffic, I still feel like I got the better deal. Well, probably did on this occasion, mate. On this, I, know, I, I definitely do. The, it only half smells now, if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, we haven't, we've got no mics on, mate. You've made a cracking job of that there. Yeah. So it's just to repeat yeah. this side now. Yeah. I've got to get those wheels to JW Smarts if we want them back in this video. So I'm going to drop them off. And Chris is going to Chris is going to carry on on this side. Great idea with the little air chisel. You can see what it's come up like. It's night and day now. So we'll let him continue on with that. I'm going to go and get those wheels dropped off. In the back of the van, I've got a new rear axle. I've got a new subframe. We've got a lower arm coming in in the next hour and a tie rod end. So I think we're pretty much there with it. Yeah. And I see the old uh, screens popped in there. Yeah, not, not fully put back together yet, Rob. But not, yeah. not fully back together, but it is in there. So I'll leave you with Chris. I'm going to go and grab everything else we need for this car. Well, well, look at that little car. I was not expecting that that soon. Look how nice that Chris has managed to get that up. A lot of messing around there with the uh, air chisel, bumping away at that carpet to get it clean. And why he carried on and did this side, you can probably see I finished up over there with a the dash. Let's have a look. Look at that bright light on in the background there. So all the cowling is back on. Stalks are all, let's zoom out a bit. Stalks are back on. New screen is in there. Silly, really. I haven't even tested that. So we'll chuck the battery on in a minute. But it was exactly the same part number. So that's all back together. Rear view mirror, all clipped in. That's all back together. Oh, I think a bit of carpet freshener here we're going to put down in a minute. Yeah, actually, the smell is gone. I can't smell dog in here anymore. So I think Chris has done well to get all of that out and... Literally, he hasn't left one dog hair in this car. So I think we're going to move on. I'm going to chuck the battery on, just check that that screen works. And then I think we're going to move on and get those seats fitted. All of the parts for it are here. So we've got the rear axle and, of course, the front subframe. As a, I've got a whip round to cat components, pick up the lower arm and a tie rod for it. But they're in. They are oh, to order them in. They'll be in now, ready to collect. So I think we're just going to carry on and get the inside of this car completely done, and then we'll move on to the outside. I was going to say all of the bits that we haven't managed to get from Reclamat because ultimately they did have ninety percent of it. We have actually ordered elsewhere, so we'll get into that later. Let's carry on. Get these nice leather seats put in here. Fingers crossed they all fit. They all look exactly the same. Let's see how we get on. So looking nice and fresh, just a bit of carpet freshener and ready for those new leather seats. They bolt in exactly the same place, they're exactly the same and underneath there is an extra plug that was underneath on the original loom of this car and there is that extra plug for those seats but we'll get into that later. That, that quick, all of the seats are now completely refitted. What a difference 
that has made to that little car. Can I just yeah. ask why you're sitting down on a job? Well, if you look here somewhere, Rob, yeah. you will see there's a little special button there. They're working. <laughs> they're working. Plug straight in. Plug straight and in. And they're yeah, working. Like the old days, isn't it, where you had spare plugs and stuff. You did, yeah. I thought maybe we'd have to put a relay and a fuse in. But you found a plug under the seat. Yeah, just plugged them up. A brown one with a little yeah, blank in yeah. it. Yeah, but you'd expect them not to put the relay in the fuse box. It's normally just left out, but yeah. I mean, why they go? Heated seats Happy all working. Days. So that's, that's a nice little Brucey bonus. Nice little upgrade for it. And, yeah, um, mate, I can also see, I'm just going to jump in here. I'm sure someone's going to ask, Rob. Go on. Not, not so clever, this one, mate. No? No. Listen, it's more than what you had when you started. Well, it is, but, uh, yeah. Not there even enough for a pint of milk now. That's yeah. good to see. So that works. Yeah. Oh. Uh, done. We don't want the map coming up, do we? But No. I don't... Oh, home. Yeah, so it's all working. Yeah, good, eh? It's got an airbag light on, but that's going to be because we've had the seats unplugged. Most likely, And the battery it? on. Most likely. I did have it off while I was doing so anyway, everything. I'm just going to jump back down. But it's... <clears throat> um, inside is absolutely lovely, but you yeah, said... Yeah, I've not done that door card yet, Rob, because it was a job to get there. And the and back um, door card, you yeah. said, they're going to have to be changed. Oh, I think so, yeah. I need to, yeah. at some point... <laughs> I know. Got to reclamate. Back to reclamate. I'll come round here and but... show it, actually. Yeah. So Chris cleaned them all, and after it's dried, it's actually uh, dog scratches, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's battered, isn't it? So, it's a 19-plate car, isn't it? It's it don't cool. want to be left like it's that, so, does it? That looks quite good in there now. Yeah, it? it looks lovely. Little centre console wants clipping in, and yeah. it's just out there drying. I've just given it a good wash. So I guess we get that clipped in, and yeah. it is time. Yep. Yeah. To move on, get that beam and bed on. Get the beam and the bed on it, and uh, hopefully, I was going to say, get it back on its wheels, but we won't be doing that until no, we get them back. That's right. But let's, uh, yeah, let's crack on and get this fitted. So, Chris, moving on there, there is a lot to do. We do want to keep all of our original stuff. So, our brake drums, uh, our brake shoes are like new. All of the brake winders are like new. All of the pipes, because ultimately, our cars are 2019. The parts that these was removed from is a 66, so 2016, 17. So we want to put on the latest stuff and all, of course, all of our original stuff. So Dan just helped him lift it in there, got it in place, and it's time to actually build it up. Again, all nuts and bolts, lots to get on with, two cables, two brake pipes, and etc. etc. So Chris cracking on there with his apprentice Dan, giving him a hand while I was out getting that new lower arm and of course that uh, drumstick, track rod, inner tie rod. They've got the beam on there and Chris has already started locating all of the, our original stuff. So handbrake cable, wheel speed sensor, um, drive shafts, got that positioned in there. Again, same this side. Didn't want to time lapse too much more of it. It is very, very repetitive and it is just a case of repeating really what chris has done before and he's swapping everything over from our original because all of this actually come off of 2016 which is exactly the same but of course ours is 19 a lot lower mileage all of the all of our original brake shoes brake drums etc they are like brand new our originals so of course all of those are going to go back on with our original drums we're not going to film any more of that Chris is just going to crack on, get all of that plumbed up, put back together, and I'm going to swap out that lower arm on the bed on the floor there and get ready to get that fitted as well. So moving on to the sub front, front subframe, I just helped Chris locate it, got a couple of bolts started on it. Once he got the bolt started, I can fly off, go and do other things, get other stuff done, and Chris can continue on getting that all built up. Well, really, really turned a corner with this one. It, the mechanical work, I think, is done. It Pretty is done, isn't it? much, yeah. We have got to tighten the drive shaft bolts up once it's on the floor. Once it's on the floor. Uh, but I think everything else on the rear is done. Exhaust bracket I straightened up first thing this morning. That was quite easy. Yeah. Got a bar in there. And the front subframe actually went in really, really well. Yep. You did say there's a couple of little like, chassis yep, extensions. Um, these little brackets... I've got to go back on. Let's come around this way, Chris. Sorry. I've got to go back on. Oh, I see, they, yeah. They, they actually take this panel 
this plastic panel that we're getting a replacement for. Right, uh, that's okay. what oh, it's yeah. fixed to. Lower bumper. Yeah, like, and then that, yeah. that, that holds the, the bumper secure. But, but that's the inside all done. Yes. While you was messing around, I jumped in, I fitted the wing mirror, yep. I fitted the door yep. handle, I think yep. that's the interior complete. Yep. So what's next? Well, I'll get these bits fitted, and yep. then you better get the smarts and pick the wheels up. Oh, mate. yeah, go and get the wheels picked um, up. And then we can get it back down on the floor, can't we? Yeah, hopefully, and um, all the wheels are sitting in the right place. Yeah. I'm sure they'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. Right, let's go and get them collected, let you crack on. So another yeah. cracking, cracking job, and not only a cracking job, a nice quick turnaround for us at the workshop from Smart Services Southeast. Guys, they're called Smart Services Southeast. They're in Maidstone. If anyone wants to ring them up, tell them that you've got the details from Salvage Rebuilds. They'll always give you a little bit of a discount. One thing, just before we put the wheels on, I did want to pick up on this car. I'm glad you're here, Chris. A lot of people did say, if you come just here, bud, you'll see it yourself there. Yeah. That car's had a front ender before, Rob. The wings are nothing like no. the same colour, but, these are plastic wings, and you are going to get that. This car's never had paint on either of these panels. I, I can tell you that now for certain. And it's exactly the same the other side. I think there it looks even more apparent that it doesn't quite look right. I mean, the car is dirty, but you are always going to get that difference with plastic panels against metal panels. It don't matter how much primer they put on them or how many layers of paint. They never, ever are 100% match, and that is genuine. They just don't, I don't think they've quite worked out how to get them to match yet, but it's never, it's always going to be a little bit off. Once this car's washed and outside, you probably won't even see that, but in under certain lights, you do notice it. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's get on, get the wheels on, and get it back on the ground. Such a shame. Put them wheels on and lowered that little car down. It looks lovely, but Houston, we have a problem. Yeah. Do. That is not good. No. So, after everything we've changed, oh, hopefully that does show up. <clears throat> the wheel is actually sitting right out at the top. You can see there. So that is actually a bent strut. Chris has put his hand in there and you could, quite frankly, land a jumbo jet in the back there and the other side. It's really tight. We didn't think it had been hit that hard. We, 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 we didn't think it had been hit that hard, but... You wouldn't want to go on a banger racing meet in one of these, would you? No, no. I, don't, I don't think you'd last very long. No. It is, they are quite flimsy little town cars, aren't they? So let's get on the phone. I'm going to get it up in the air and I'll get that off. Yeah. While you try and find one. Try and find one or even if we can't find a second-hand one because I know at Reclamat, the one we got all these bits off, was hit there as well. It was, yeah. Hence putting a lower arm on it. So yeah. I'll get on the phone, mate. I'll get us one sorted. So huge thank you to Reclamet. I got straight on the phone to Gary as soon as I noticed that there was an issue. And he said, Rob, i got a van coming that way. Let me get you one off of another car that we got. But you can see that's our one. And we quickly established, we don't know if it's the shock. The shock looks okay, but it is most likely going to be that hub. But if you look at that wheel now, it's sitting perfect. So we're going to get the bonnet on it. And then actually for the first time, take it up and down the yard Make sure it drives all right. Let's do it. Brake assist inoperative. Do you, do you want me to actually quickly plug this in and do a code clear on it before you go anywhere? Might, might It's probably play. best, isn't it? Let's cut there for a minute. Yeah. I thought I'd show this because that's going to make some of you laugh. Quite a lot of you mentioned it in the last video. Look, I've just done a search and it's asked me, is it a Smart or a Renault? Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm just literally, I'm not going to show this too much. I'm going to do a quick code scan on it, like a health report see what codes it's got and probably just clear them all down because it didn't have any before <coughs> why, why it was driving it wouldn't have had any issues and it's only since we've had it it's had a flat battery it's been sat around for quite a while etc so there you got motor electronics let's any just joy? stay rolling just for a minute yeah quite I've, I've had to go with the uh launch computer it was quite funny um chris i wasn't going to record it but i've just recorded it because yep. After I'd done a search for it, it come up, is your vehicle a Smart or a Renault? Oh, did it, yeah. I thought that's quite funny. Instrument cluster, it's got we've, a lot of faults. We've noticed Renault on a few bits, haven't we? We have, yeah. So look, look how many problems yeah. it's got. So yeah. I'm just gonna um, clear DTCs. Yeah. yeah, And then just, we'll run it. And of course we'll scan it again before it goes anywhere. But I'd, I'd like to think that ma the majority of them will go. 
looks like it's all okay so far. That is it. Switch, switch off ignition, you? please, yep. if you could. <laughs> Just a bit of a procedure here. Yep. Okay, right. Now it is clearing fault memory. Please wait 10 seconds. Hopefully you're counting that, because I'm not. That's about five. Right, switch ignition on. Yep. Okay. Gosh, it's on dial up. Clear fault memory complete. So, it has got still some stuff there. Yeah, and it's come back up here now. Signal acquisition and action module, collision prevention assist, electric stability program. Mate, they're all things we're going to need to look into. Let's run it up and down the yard. Yeah, okay. He's going for it. Well, all the wheels are pointing in the right direction now, and they're all in the right place, aren't they? They're all sitting in the right place. Yes, it's going to want tracking up and balancing. There is still quite a few bits to do on that car. It's got a lot of marks and dinks around it. Well, they all look like they're going in the right direction. Yep, just um, obviously those. Is that no seat belt? That was no seat belt beeping, but right. it's got an ABS light, a traction light, and this one down here with a little, uh, looks like it's towing it. Oh, it's active brake assist inoperative. Yeah, there is a um, radar sensor on the front bumper of this car. Right. So, and we haven't got that front bumper secured properly. It is no. quite wobbly because we've took the yeah. splitter off it. So, mate, it's all stuff to get on with in the next video. Yeah. I think that that is it. We're going to call yeah. it there. Yeah, That's going to be Definitely. the end of today's video. I think there's going to be one more on this little car. That's going to be the bodywork, and then it will be going out the door to one of you guys. Don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's free of charge. Follow us on Instagram at Selvage Rebuilds. Follow Chris when he goes on holiday, boot fairs, car sales, junk sales, mm. flea markets, everywhere he goes at Selvage Rebuilds, Chris. Don't forget, like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.